Happy New Year, and welcome to Lighting Systems 2010 to kick off 2023. I'm Ricardo Barcelo, part of the specification team, and today we have with us from Vivia, Western Regional Man Manager, Johnny Bosco, here to introduce exciting, award-winning product that will help you create dramatic installations that embrace the fluidity of light. Please enter any questions to the chat, and we will address them at the end of the presentation. If you'd like to schedule a follow-up meeting with Johnny, please reach out to Lighting Systems Rep or click on the link on the 20 at 10 page on our website. Take it away, Johnny. Great, thanks, Ricardo. <clears throat> so like Ricardo mentioned, my name's Johnny. I'm the Western Regional Manager of the US market at Vivia. And today we're gonna be talking about Plus Minus, the latest and greatest from Vivia. So Plus Minus ushers in what Vivia likes to refer to as its new era of lighting. And to give you a little taste of what that era entails and what we're gonna be talking about today, I'm gonna to play you this quick video. So that is the introduction to the plus minus system. And to start, I'm gonna give you a little background info on the designer himself. This is Stefan Dietz of Dietz Office, a very talented multidisciplinary designer who's designed furniture, uh, accessories, even lighting for Vivia in the past, but plus minus is definitely his latest and greatest. Um, as evident by a lot of the awards that we've received thus far, uh, you can see some really notable ones like uh, best of year by interior design, Archi products, Architizer, et cetera. Uh, but to start talking about the product itself, we're going to talk about the inspiration behind Plus Minus, and that's the idea of the fluidity of light. So Plus Minus really defines what it means to be a versatile lighting system, and it kind of elevates the idea of what a track lighting system can be. Uh, the fully conductive textile belt allows for the free placement of luminaires along its length in really infinitely unique compositions and allows the creator to not just compose unique lighting solutions, but really play with this idea of fluidity of light within a space. So part of the versatility is achieved, but with the use of these six different luminaire types uh, that offer eight different lighting effects. Uh, we can see there's various shapes made out of different materials. These spheres here are made out of hand-blown glass. There are semi-spheres, cones, and spotlights, which can be both directed and intensified depending on the version. There are linear diffusers uh, and then also linear diffusers in low UGR options, one focusing on higher efficiency and then one focusing on higher comfort. And you can see that's achieved just by the different baffling that's inserted on the interior of that. Uh, so those luminaires in concert with the various anchors and the unique connection style shown here make up the system and are the basis for any plus minus composition. And now to get into some detailed product info, the textile belt of Plus Minus is offered in four different color options currently. Uh, we're offering black, terra red, blue, and green, and it's made in a specially woven proprietary process that makes it fully conductive thanks to the copper wire that's interwoven with the fabric of the belt. Um, when I say fully conductive, I do mean that you can place a luminaire at any point uh, on the belt in its length. There are no um, spacing issues. There's no hot spots where you can work within it's fully conductive and also of note is that each electrical connection allows for a maximum belt length of up to 96 linear feet. So if required for your project, you can get some very large, complex, intricate compositions. 
So the various luminaire options are offered for different lighting effects. Uh, standard color temperatures for the product are 2700, 3000, and 3500K. And each composition will allow for approximately 100 watts max per electrical connection. Uh, each individual fixture does have its wattage listed in our spec sheets and in the catalog. But while you're building your luminaire in our composing tool on the Vibio.com website, uh, it'll actually track the wattage that you're using and give you a warning if you get too close or exceed it. So it will never allow you to design something that physically cannot be installed. Uh, there's also various electrical connection options available for the system. Uh, you can see here we're offering surface, plug-in, remote, and recessed. And also available is a really unique wire connector tool shown here on the bottom left. Um, this tool can is a really discreet way of powering your option. The power source can be placed up in the rafters, around a corner, in a more discreet location. And then this connection can be made at any point in the belt. Uh, and the wire comes up to six meters long. So you could really um, discreetly power your composition, even if you're not quite close enough to a power source. So continuing with the theme of versatility, uh, there are seven control options for this. We're offering on off, uh, push, push simultaneous, zero to 10, dolly, and in its premiere for Vibia, Kasambi and Kasambi P2P. And then shown here are the various installation accessories that allow for the actual uh, installation of your composition. So these pieces are personalized to your composition and will be included in your toolbox based on your design made on Vibia.com. And just looking at this, we can see there are various attachments, both for wall and ceiling. There are There's a really cool counterweight that allows you to tie your composition to the ground without actually um, attaching it to the ground. There's various supports. Uh, there's a really cool freestyle bar that allows you to play with uh, loops and slack and excess belts and hanging uh, pendants from this. And then there's also uh, these suspension clips that are really cool to create a more open, airy feel and then also allow you to create more intricate angles that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise if you were just using belt. Um, and then here the options continue even in the finishing stage of the process. This is all done on site, um, but you can see that you can finish the end of your belt and your composition either as cleanly or artistically as you'd like. You can just cap it um, right at the end. You can play with excess hanging belt. You can play with loops if yours ends at the ground. Again, this is the counterweight shown at the bottom. Ton of options. Um, all of this can be configured on our website when you're designing. And then now we're going to see some of these components in action and watch an actual installation of the composition.
as the installation, it, it really is that easy. Uh, and a major part of the versatility of the plus minus system is not just in its configuration, but in its potential for reconfiguration. Uh, compositions can be reconfigured with the addition, elimination, or total replacement of luminaires or accessories. Uh, for the luminaires, it's as simple as unattaching a piece from the belt and reattaching um, another in its place or, you know, just changing the location. <clears throat> Here you can see a composition is reconfigured with three different luminaire styles. Uh, with this back L portion of belt pretty much staying the same throughout, uh, but just by changing a couple accessories and then changing the luminaire style that's hanging, um, they were able to create three pretty different um, settings using maybe 80-90% of the same materials. Uh, so maintenance is incredibly easy. Uh, simply turn off the fixture and wipe off any dust with a well-run damp cloth. The uh, hand-blown glass orbs can be easily maintained with any glass cleaning um, or cleaner. And then the aluminum uh, luminaires can be wiped uh, really easily just to maintain any dust that could accumulate. Uh, the belt performs at only 42 volts, so it's uh, very safe to handle. It's also weight, water, and fire resistant, and the system carries a two-year warranty from Vivio. And to wrap up, I'm going to play this video showing you a couple installation uh, inspirational images and just kind of the various compositions that can be achieved with the system, just to give you a few ideas. Fantastic. Thank you, Johnny, for presenting such a versatile, stylish lighting system for both commercial and application or commercial applications and residential. Yeah. Uh, we do have a few questions, though. Uh, let me start with the first one. Uh, is this considered track lighting for Title 24? Um, it is, yes. Okay. And then second question, are all components currently available? Yes, so everything that we've shown here, everything that is uh, in the catalog shown on our website is currently available. Everything there is you all listed and ready to be sold, used, specified in the US. Great. Then we have, can an installation be moved, like if you move offices, homes, et cetera? 
Yeah, so you definitely can move or take uh, installations with you. Obviously, um, depending on the power source, some are easier than others. Something that's just like a plug-in um, and attaches to the belt from um, the outlet would be much easier than something with um, like a surface canopy, for example. But yes, depending on how it's designed, it can easily be moved from space to space. And this is considered single circuit? I'm sorry? Single circuit? Yes. Okay, and the next is, uh, is this only available on indoor applications? Yes, so for now it is only available for indoor settings. A, a outdoor version would be very cool, but um, as far as I know, that is not in the works yet, just so interiors for now. Awesome, here's a detailed question. Oh, the connectors okay. from the luminaire to cable have teeth, I suppose. Can you remove the luminaire after connection is made and place them elsewhere? Yeah, so oh, definitely. Just, yeah, so yeah. definitely. The the luminaires all have these gold plated teeth, and then obviously the belt, like I mentioned, is interwoven with copper. Uh, the weave on the textile part of the belt is um, not quite tight enough that when you're moving the luminaire, that any kind of puncture marks or anything show. So yeah, if you want to move the light from one point to another point on the belt, you can do that. If you want to totally replace a light and just switch it out with another one, so long as the weight is able to be supported in how it's laid out, that's totally acceptable too. And the next question is, how do you wash the belt? Um, so you wouldn't necessarily wash the belt, but if you did need to remove um, maybe like dust or debris or something like that, it can be wiped down with a well-run damp cloth. Um, it can get wet. It can't be soaked, if that makes sense. Um, so you can clean it. Uh, you just, you know, wouldn't want to have it technically be soaked. Great. Yeah. Are there other colors, custom colors available? Yeah. So currently we have, we've just launched with these, um, but I know in several months there'll be kind of a plus minus 2.0 that'll be including some other colors, some more neutrals that a lot of people have been asking for. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, with a lot of stuff or a lot of our products, depending on the size of pro uh, project and things like that, we're always open to custom uh, colors. So, yeah, if you have something specific in mind, definitely reach out to Ricardo or Lighting Systems and then we can go from there. And here's one of our favorite. Is it J rated? Is it what? I'm sorry? J rated. Uh, that I don't believe I have an answer for at the moment. I would have to get back to you. Yeah, we'll circle back on that one. Yeah, J. -A. And then, mm -hmm. and then, are there height limitations? For example, um, if you have a sixty-foot ceiling with limited maintenance, is that a problem? No. So really, the only kind of dimensional limitations that we've seen are the um, ninety-six linear feet per electrical connection. Um, you know, so as long as no matter what the ceiling height is. Um, we can support the belt in some way if additional support is needed, either with those aircraft cable clips that you saw or just, you know, with gravity, depending on how it's laid out. Um, but no, the, there's no height limitations. Really, the limitation is that 96 linear feet per electrical connection. And then the last question we have so far is, will tight horizontal span sag over time? <laughs> and um, how no, often it, should the length be supported? No, so it, it won't sag, and this is a really cool feature of our composing tool on the website. It automatically places supports where needed in your design. So say you have like a 20 foot width and you're placing um, heavier lights on that, it'll include the support cables in the center of each of those lights so that it will never sag. It'll be fully supported in its in its installation. So, so no, it won't sag. And then is there ELV dimming available? And then what kind of lead time are you seeing for this product? ELV to mean meaning, I'm sorry, meaning what? If you're doing an electrical voltage dimming for the picture. Um, well, the dimming options are the ones that we, we talked about in the, um, okay. in the presentation. So like zero to 10, Dolly, uh, Kasambi, um, things like that. And as far as the lead time right now, we're looking at uh, like nine to 12 weeks uh, production and transit. Great. Yeah. I think that's all the questions. Uh, again, thank you all for joining us today. Thanks, Johnny, again, for uh, showcasing a great product. I think this yeah. is going to do very well this year yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and its feature.
And uh, next month, please join us at 20 to 10 again. We're gonna have JLC Tech with more innovative product. Um, other than that, thank you very much and have a great week. Thank you.